Well, you know, we're not going to actually show this video just because of the disturbing nature and content that is within it. But uh, Canton police are telling Seven Action News that there are there is an open investigation into this video. And once that investigation is closed, it will be sent over to the Pro Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for possible charges. Many parents at the Plymouth Canton High School are upset, and rightfully so, after a disturbing and racist video started to make the rounds online. I was disgusted. I was angry. It's horrible, you know. It makes me feel like my daughter is not safe going to school. Parents speaking to 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast. They did not want to show their faces in fear of pushback against their children. The video showed a white high school student filming himself threatening to lynch, curb stomp, and kill black students using the N-word multiple times. And it created just a pain in my heart that this is what my child as a teenager is experiencing at a place where she's supposed to be learning and growing. The parents also say racism at Plymouth Canton schools is nothing new. In a statement, the district said, quote, while this video has recently surfaced amongst our student body, it was thoroughly investigated when it was brought to our attention and addressed with the students involved. We do not condone or tolerate acts of this nature. The district admitted this was not the first incident of racial discrimination this year and that they can't disclose specifics on the disciplinary action towards the student. Parents want a clarification on the punishment. We've gotten responses from the school that it's being handled, but we don't know how it's being handled. And when it's something this serious, um, I'm, I'm expecting something more than we're handling it and don't worry about it. And the school is asking students and parents if there is any racist uh, discrimination or threatening behavior to report it. There are also counseling services available here at the school. Reporting in Canton this morning, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah, you can clearly understand the concern of the parents given this type of language and violence, and they certainly want to know more. That's something that every parent can understand. Peter Maxwell, live for us this morning in Canton. Thank you, Peter.